it's been two hours now. And you guys are doing really well at the pretending part. I love the fact that you're all over pretending. What I need to do is, I need to get this. I should. I need to season this up. So I, I need a spot for this to happen. And I need to take off all of the excess marinade at this point. And I told you, never put any type of meat onto the grill that has any excess moisture in it. Try to get that off as quickly as possible. So we have the juniper berries there. Now we are mirroring those flavors. We're gonna say, we've got gin in our, we've got juniper berry in our gin, but we need to get more flavor in there. So this I'm gonna put off to the side. Ooh, nice catch. Good. You must have done this before. Now, this needs also to be seasoned up. Now remember, if you have the time, 24 hours is perfect. If you don't have the time, 20 minutes will give you some type of flavor penetration, and that's all you're looking for. So again, a little bit of salt on top, and make sure that you're very generous with the seasoning on this. And you wanna make sure you get some pepper on here. And how many people have issues with heat? and controlling the heat on your barbecue. Anyone? If you have some issues with the heat and controlling heat, what you need to do is you gotta give yourself an out. One side of your barbecue, keep it on high. The other side of your barbecue, keep it on medium to medium low. Always give yourself an out. Give yourself an opportunity to save it if it's gonna go awry on you. Most of us say, <clears throat> we crank it on high and we uh, do the old, <laughs> dear Lord, I hope it turns out I haven't prayed in a long time, but I don't want you to pray. I want you to make sure that you know what you're doing. So again, salt and pepper. Make sure you get both sides, but let's just get this on for the sake of our time together. So again, we have a really hot fire. We want to make sure that we get off all the excess juniper. And again, you're hearing the sear that you're supposed to hear when you put food on. So, this is also going to take anywhere between, say, 25 minutes as high, on the high side, probably 45 minutes. We have about five pounds worth of lamb there at this point. Now you can easily play around with this. You can cut it into cubes and make little kebabs out of it. You can leave it whole with the bone in. How many people like bone in when they're cooking meats? I'm a big proponent of keeping the bone in it, if you could possibly do that. But if you keep the bone in, what does that do to your cooking time? It starts to stretch it. If you want to eat today, you might want to remove the bone. But it's up to you. That's really up to you. If you plan well in advance and you do it properly, you will have no issues. Now you notice that we got a lot of smoke off there. That's happening because we have some oil in that marinade, plus we've got a very hot grill. So I'm gonna keep my eye on this while this is going. Again, I'm gonna pass this over to Merlin and you will start working on that next course. I have more stuff coming up, okay? That's Thank you awesome. very much. Awesome.